My name is Delando Heslop. I am the dock superintendent. I'm in charge of all the employees on the dock, ordering parts for the, for the machinery, coordinating the movement of the vessels in and out of the dock with the agents. 90% of the vessels come from Florida. We do over 40 ships a year of raw sugar coming into the plant and those ships range from 30 million pounds of raw sugar to 50 million pounds. I'm informed by the raw sugar department which, which vessel is coming here and when it's coming. At that time, I will reach out to the agent for the vessel to coordinate the docking. Once we start, we coordinate with the crew members on how they, they, they determine how they want us to offload the vessel from what hatches first. The time it takes to offload a vessel depends on the size of the vessel, the ship or a barge. A barge normally holds 29.4 million pounds. It takes us four days. 60 million pounds could take us about three weeks to, to offload. We offload the vessel with two floating cranes. Uh, they're called the, the bucket clamshell cranes. They have two buckets that holds about 20,000 pounds per dig. Every time they dig, we drop them into a hopper onto a conveyor system, which gets weighed. Then it goes into the warehouse. The North Warehouse is a smaller warehouse, which holds 12 million pounds. The South Warehouse holds 33 million pounds. Raw sugar coming off the barge is not food grade. However, through several of the purification steps, later on in the process, becomes food grade. Quality is critical here at the refinery. The sugar gets from the warehouse to start the refining process by 21 holes in the floor of the warehouse. It's gravity fed onto a conveyor belt that's 300 feet long. And from that point, it goes into, it starts the processing of the sugar. 